Welcome to my classroom. I am your teacher in Science 7 and you can just call me Mademoiselle. Today, we will discuss about the basic things that you should know to become a scientist. And what is it? Hmm. Yes, you are correct. We will first discuss about the different science process skills because we all know that science is more than a collection of facts and learning the process skills is preparation for becoming a scientist. So what are science process skills? So these process skills are the tools scientists or people who study about science used to know or to understand things around them. So as a student, it will also help you understand things around you. What are the science process skills? We have first, observation, second, classifying, third, measuring, fourth, inferring, fifth, predicting, and sixth, communicating. In observation, observations is the process using the senses to determine the properties of an object or an event. You can do simple observations using your senses. So you can use your sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of taste, sense of smell, and sense of touch. We have here an example of observation. So when we use our sense of sight, we can identify the color of the color, which is red. And using our sense of taste, we can say that the birthday cake is sweet. And another example, using sense of smell, we can smell that your sister's bouquet of flowers smells good. Another example of observation, so using our sense of hearing, we can say that his guitar is loud. And using our sense of touch, we can say that the rap is hard. Next, we have classifying. Classifying is putting things together based on their similarities, just like what we see in our supermarket, so they are grouped according to their similarities. So we have, we have some examples uh, for the gender. So. They are grouped according to their gender, which is boy and girl. We also have different groups of animals, such as the group of mammals and group of birds. We also have another group, group of fruits and vegetables. And for measuring, Measuring is comparing the size, distance, time, volume, area, mass, weight, or temperature of an object or event based on a standard, such as ruler or any measuring tool. Next would be inferring. Inferring is forming an explanation based on observation. So what is the difference between observation and inference? In observation, we can say that the plant is wilted. So to explain what we have observed, that we think that the plant has wilted due to lack of water. Same thing with this ice. So the ice has melted because we think that the one that causes it to melt would be heat. And that would be the explanation from our observation. Predicting is using one's knowledge to make an intelligent guess about what will happen next. So this involves making inferences about the future events based on the current evidences and past experiences. Example, so based on our observation, the plant withers and the plant needs water. So therefore, the plant will die if not watered regularly. And last would be communicating. Communicating is sharing ideas and information. So it could be verbal or oral and through writing. So we can uh, do communicating through seminars, lectures, and reporting, and of course, as journal publications. So that would be it. 
Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Bye!